This is home. And our roots run as deep as the love we have for this place. Owned by the same Cincinnati company for more than 70 years. And what matters to you matters to us. This is WCPO 9 News. We thank you for choosing us. I'm Evan Millward. Here's a look at some of the top stories at this hour. Today, the Hamilton Township community said goodbye to Emery Shandorf Wood. The four-year-old was laid to rest in Mainville hours ago after a public visitation at Fellowship Baptist Church. Her body was found Sunday in her neighborhood pond after an hours long search. Ohio Task Force One is now in Louisiana preparing to help after Hurricane Ida. They left Dayton last night, yesterday evening. 45 members from across Ohio are heading to the Gulf Coast as Ida is expected to make landfall near New Orleans sometime tomorrow, possibly as a Category 4 hurricane. Hamilton's West Side Little League team will play Michigan tomorrow in the Little League World Series Championship. Today they beat Sioux Falls 5-2, winning the Tom Seaver Bracket Championship and advancing to the title game. And Hamilton shows its pride in its home team. There were multiple watch parties all over town today. You can watch them go for this title tomorrow on WCPO 9 at 3 o'clock. A bed might be something you take for granted, but it is something some kids in the tri-state just don't have. That's why St. Vincent de Paul and Morris Home donated 50 beds this morning to local kids in need. It was the fifth annual Day to Dream event. WCPO 9 is a very proud sponsor. If you want to help with this program in the future, we are having a telethon on WCPO 9 on Tuesday between 4 and 7.30 p.m. You can tune in at that time. We'll tell you how you can make a donation and get kids beds. Sherry, it's another hot day out there. Yeah, and we're going to see some ice isolated chances of a shower storm through the uh, overnight really, but it will be pretty isolated in the morning. We could see a few scattered showers to get the day started, and then as we get the heating going in the afternoon, a few more of those scattered showers and storms, but it won't be a washout. Temperatures will be anywhere from the mid 70s out the door in the morning to about 87 at noon and 91 at 4 p.m. Again, with the possibility of an isolated shower during the late day and then temperatures starting to cool into next week.